Hello and welcome to this use case for the Feednetics app by Sparrows. Today, we will show you how to evaluate the impact of different RAS feeds on overall smolt performance, using the Feednetics web app. Welcome to the starting interface. This is what you will see after your first login. Here, you can view all the different comparison options we offer, as well as all baseline data your specific case needs. Today, we will be comparing different feeds, but before we start, let's have a look at our settings for this specific case first. Our objective for this case is as follows. Compare the performance of two commercial RAS feeds used by the salmon farming industry during the freshwater stage, considering a target smolt weight of 250 grams, at a 1 million smolt hatchery. Our settings for this case are 40 grams initial weight 1 million initial fish 0.25% mortality per month 0% feed waste, and 12 degrees Celsius average temperature. Now, onto the feeding regime. Here, we are considering two commercial RAS feeds, whereby the main difference is that feed number one has a higher lipid and energy content, compared with feed number two, whereas the 3mm pellet of feed two has a higher protein content compared with feed one. In order to focus on the impact of the different macronutrient composition for the two RAS feeds, we have considered the same amino acid profile, as well as the same fatty acid profile for all feeds. All Feednetics predictions are generated based on a nutrient-based model, that takes into account the effects of the amino acids on fish metabolism. This means, that you can, and absolutely should insert the amino acid profile values from your feed analytical results to obtain very precise results in the Feednetics app. To not make this case too complicated, and keep our prediction outcomes fairly simple, we have considered the same feed price for both feeds. Naturally, when running your own predictions, you can, and should insert your real price values, as well as any other production cost values and the model will adjust accordingly. Now, let's dive into the software. Let's start our comparison, under, what do you want to evaluate, select, different feeds. Give your comparison case a name, and hit next. This is the baseline interface, where we will enter the details of our stock. Under species, select, Atlantic salmon. Select any start date you like, we will take today's date. Initial weight, as stated in our parameters, at 40 grams. And a tank cage volume of 2000 cubic meters. Our production period for this case is 6 months. The initial number of fish 1 million, and their mortality rate per month is 0.25%. Now, double check your data and hit next. On this screen, you can select your temperature profile. For this RAS case, we will assume a constant temperature of 12 degrees Celsius. However, do note that the software provides various preset locations in important production regions, like for the bream and base or the salmon industry. Of course, you are also able to add your own site data. For now, select constant temperature of 12 degrees Celsius, and hit next. The next step is setting our baseline for our feeding plan. We set our fish weight range to 100 grams, selecting salmon RAS feed 1 with the 3 mm pellets, and choose our first feeding table, which we set to 110%. Now select insert another range threshold, select your second pellet size, then apply the same feeding table and set it, again, to 110%. Our number of meals is 2 per day, with first feeding at 9 in the morning and a feeding interval between meals of 5 hours. For this case, we are assuming 0% uneaten feed. Once you have entered all your data, hit next. The next step is setting our baseline for feed prices and any other costs that you might want to include. For reasons of simplicity, in this scenario we will set all our parameters to no cost. Hit next. Now that we have set our baseline, we are able to enter our comparison scenario. We will be comparing different feeds, so tick that option, and hit next. As you can see, the app takes you back to the same screen where we set our feeding baseline previously. For our comparison scenario, we will swap out the feed for our second type of RAS feed and change our feeding table to the second option in the list. Everything else, we will keep as entered in the baseline. Once you are done, hit next. As in the baseline, keep everything at no price or no cost, and hit next. In the final screen, hit the generate results button and wait for Feednetics to load your feed comparison. You can also leave the app and wait for an email to arrive, that links you straight to your generated results. Here, we are in the results screen, where the charts and tables give you an immediate overview of your key indicators. You can explore your results in more detail here in the web app, or download them, here, as a spreadsheet file. Let's download it to learn more about what type of results Feednetics can generate for you, 
and how to interpret those. As we can see in the results exploration tab, the fish weight over time chart indicates that RAS Feed 1 allows fish to reach the target smolt weight of 250 grams, 14 days earlier than RAS Feed 2. Open your results summary tab to compare your KPIs at key production timings. As entered here, at our target weight of 250 grams per smolt. In this case, RAS Feed 1 leads to an 8% lower FCR, 5 kg less nitrogen waste per ton of fish produced, and 28% less phosphorus, while using 14 tons less feed up to the point where our smolt reaches the 250 grams target weight. This together translates into savings on feed of up to 110 euros per ton of smolt produced, compared to RAS Feed 2. To learn more about Feednetics and how it can generate value for you, Get in touch at sparrows.pt or hit the link in the video description. Feednetics, turn your questions into knowledge.